Okay, we start. Okay. I was trying to get on the freeway so I could get to somewhere that was very important that I, that I, and that I get there as soon as possible. As I was trying to merge onto the freeway from the on-ramp, I was as I was merging onto the freeway, I saw a man standing on the side, on the outside of his car on the side of the road, on the ramp. Uh, then all of a sudden, the car in front of me stops. That person that was in front of me in that car got out of his car and walked to the guy on the side of the road. I tried to go around them so I can get onto the freeway as it is a very important that I get to where I'm going as soon as possible. Then all of a sudden I hear a voice coming from somewhere above the freeway. The voice is clear to hear. I then realize the freeway is clear of cars as no one is on the freeway, not one car. I then realize I can get to where I'm, I was going with no interference, which puzzles me. Okay. What are the questions you'd ask? Do you have a success or failure? Success. I said success or failure. More? Go ahead. She said success. Oh, I didn't know if we wanted to start with that because she answered. She what? gave an answer to whether it was a success yeah. or failure. What question would you ask? What was it like all of a sudden when she heard the voice coming from somewhere above the freeway? Okay. Well, that was very curious because I was no longer in my car. Somehow, I was on the freeway without a car. That's how I was able to hear the voice because I was no longer in a vehicle. So somehow that happened. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, I was no longer in a car. But what was that like? It was very, um, it took me, it was like, um, it took me by surprise, but it was also very um, enlightening. Um, because it was like that uh, aha, aha moment. Um, because all of a sudden I, I hear the voice and you wouldn't necessarily think that you standing on a freeway, that you would hear voices, mm -hmm. you know, because if the freeway is so loud, you wouldn't necessarily think you would hear a voice. Was that <coughs> part of the surprise in the dream? Yes, yes. You were it surprised was. that you normally would. And there was no cars on the freeway too. That also surprised me. That there was, I heard the voice, and there was no cars on the freeway, because normally that wouldn't normal ha normally happen in the day-to-day -day world. The freeway would be packed with cars and you wouldn't necessarily hear a voice so clear because of the freeway. <coughs> so you said it was enlightening? It was an enlightening type of experience, yeah. It was, um, um, 
it was like a high because um, it's not ne necessarily something that happens in everyday life. It's something that's like something that's abnormally abnormal in the day-to-day -day world. So it's something that you, ne you wouldn't necessarily think would happen. Now, are you talking about the cars and the crew at this point, or the voice? Uh, the voice and yeah, the voice and the cars. The voice and the cars, both. They both, both of them, like, um, made me feel the same way. Like, this doesn't. This is not a normal thing that happens. It's what, abnormal. Can you, can you describe the voice, please? Um, it was like it was coming from above, um, and it was echoing. Like there was an echo type of uh, stance to it, but I don't remember what the voice said. No. But somehow, right after that, you realize the freeway is clear of cars. Right. No one's on the freeway. Right. And then you realize you could get to where you're going with no interference. Right. Which also puzzled me. Right. Do you actually then go in? I the woke up at that point. Yeah. So yeah, I woke up at that point. So I don't know if I actually made it to where I, wherever I was going. But it felt like if I was uh -huh. to go, I would be able to get there, no problem. You know, I had that feeling. Ends with that if. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. I had the feeling I could go and accomplish what it is. Yes, oh. yes, I would accomplish whatever it was I was trying to accomplish, right, exactly. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, I try to go around them. Mm -hmm. Right. I try to go around them. Right. Right. And you do. Yes. Right? So yes. you're successful. Yes, I was right? successful. Right, yes. right, 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 right. right. Yeah. She over overcame a nice obstacle. Yes. Yeah. Um. What's it what's that feeling like? Um that I could accomplish, I could go on and accomplish that's, what I want. That's a high state of mind. Like what? That um, that no matter what, I was able to, because I was able to get to where I was going. It was um, like a freeing type of, of state of mind. Um, have you had that kind of state of mind before? Mm. High state, right? I, philosophy uh, has put me in this state of mind a couple times. Hmm. Um, yeah. Similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah. 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 What, what do you What do you like about this? That you see. See this word? See, I could go and accomplish right. what I desired. Right. It's future, isn't it? Yeah, futuristic. Right. Right. Yeah. It, do you want me to tell you what it reminded me of? Go ahead. OK. Um, what we were discussing at the seminar, yeah. that I wanted to accomplish something. And I was thinking that I had this block. But I think the Dream Master is telling me that the block, I can get around it. Yeah. I can get around the block. Oh. That's right. If I wanted to. <laughs> no, 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 that's not there. Right, right, right. That if I wanted to is not there. Right. Yeah, I know. What does that mean, though? Um, 
Yeah, I'm the only one that's stopping me. Prophetic. Yeah. Now we'll have to see whether right. it works out. Yeah. It's a prophetic dream. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We're looking forward to the next dream, aren't we? Yeah. Is that a surprise to you? Huh? Is that a surprise yeah, to you? Yeah, because my blocks, my blocks um, deter me a lot from doing things that I want to do. Or the things that appear like blocks? Yes. Yes. And what does it look like it's happening to that block? It's going bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Good story. Good. Regina, I understand you have three. I don't know if someone else has them, so, but this is the last one. Uh, what difference does it make if someone else is? Well, because other people have dreams. Huh? Other people have dreams. No, no, why are you bypassing your chance to get up? Here. I'm not. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> Okay, these are three very interesting dreams. They're very long. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, do you have extra copies there? Yeah. Oh. 11, 10, 16, 30. No, I didn't. Okay, we'll take them in order. 11, 10 first. Go right ahead, please. Uh, this guy was asking if he could leave his bike in a house that was not in use. <clears throat> it will be put right now. Uh, it will be put. It, oh, I see. Uh, it will be, I think it means put right now. Uh, it, will be, it, it will be in use, but right now. Yeah, it will be, but right now, uh, okay, there was no one in the house at present. So I said, fine. But when I went by later, I saw the bike and thought that maybe he shouldn't have the bike so visible because the windows were uncovered. People could walk by and see the bike right in the center of the room. I was going to let him know to put it in the closet out of sight and that would be better, a better thing, and then people wouldn't be breaking in to take it. That's it. Okay. Um, It's something in the future. It's not something that has happened. And I was going to tell him. Mm -hmm. So, um, <coughs> that state of mind of uh, being concerned that things are visible is um, is a common state for me. That it may be uh, maybe he shouldn't have the bike so visible, and it was right in the center of the room, and pe it was a big window, and people walking by could see it. So that made me concerned. Mm -hmm. Any questions on this? I have another question. Uh, I, I might have missed it. 
whose house was it? Doesn't say. No, pardon, do it again. Whose house was it? Thank you. It went, don't know. Just a house. It was an empty house. And it was a big empty house. What any followed? Indication, do you remember any indication of what you were doing at the time other than this? Just that the guy asked me, and that's the beginning. Whatever happened before, I don't remember. This, this guy was asking if he could leave his bike. Now, how, what connection I have with the house, I don't even know that. It's just that I was able to say he could do it. But it was a very large house, actually. Could, you, you told him he could. I, yeah, I had the, off, somewhere I had the authorization that what I said was okay. So I knew that I could instruct him to do that. But he put it in the wrong place. Well, he didn't put it in the wrong place. He, he asked if he could put that bike in the house and that's what he did. But where he put it was very visible for people going by and that concerned me. But you were in the dream, given the authorization in one way or the other, to have access to the house and to allow that to take place is... Right, I could do that. There was, I had, somehow I was, that was okay to do. But I didn't get the sense that it was my house or I had anything to do with it. It was like this was a big house. Well, you had something to do with it if you were giving authorization, That's right. right? That's right. Well, uh, yeah, but it wasn't that it wasn't my house. Is what I'm saying. Okay. It was someone else's. So you're raising the question: How is she functioning in the dream? Yes. Right. What would you say? Um, Well, I'm giving authorization, but also I'm concerned about... What is it? Wait a minute. Stop. Then what kind of role are you playing so far if you're giving authorization? Oh, like a manager. Okay. 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 Yeah, manager. Yeah. If, the, if that's the case, what's the problem in the dream? Okay, give her a grade for how well she's managing. I would say incomplete. Incomplete? Louder. Incomplete. Incomplete, he says. Because? Because we didn't finish off with anything, but I just... Yeah, we got to speak out because we only yeah. have ears mic today, sorry. Just because of the... You're dealing with the house, right? So would the dream be a success, or did you even finish if you didn't tell the guy about his bike, or did you even have to tell him about his bike? Did it have to do with anything about your authorization? You know? Did you? In the mind state, if you're taking care of the house, some guy put a bike in. Yeah, that's she's the manager. Yeah. So you're authorized for the house. You yes. Have to tell him about the bike. Yes. So would the dream be a success not telling about the bike, or do you still have to tell him about the bike for it to be a success? What is incomplete about it, then? It's, she is, uh, I can't, it's not incomplete if she doesn't have to tell the guy. That's the thing. Like I, what did you, you say? Know, her authorization. It's not out. incomplete if I don't have to tell the person. That's her mind state at the end of it. That's it's what my concern, and I'm the manager of the house, and I don't want any breaking. You gotta find out the space Let me ask it again. Give her a grade in terms of the dream. F. An F. Why? Why? Well, I mean, you couldn't, you could close the drapes for one thing. There aren't any. What is that, please? No. I said she could close the drapes. Okay. Oh. Um, secondly, yeah, there no. aren't any. That's not. Okay. Now, you say there's nobody right now 
in it at present. But if he puts his bike there, then he's in there. No. Stay in terms of the dream itself. If she gets an A, if she gets an A, B, C, if she gets an F, you're saying there's something fundamentally inaccurate, insufficient in what she's doing. How do you, how does it seem? Well, Gabe was wanting to know what her state of mind was at the end of the dream. Well, okay. That's worthwhile. Well, we'll get that. What was the state of the mind? When you um, thought you should tell the guy about the bike. See, unless you point at where you want to get a state of mind, then we don't know where to go to get it. Yeah, that's true. I'm fishing for where. The concern she has about the breaking, because people can see in, is a con I should be a concern whether the bike is there or not. Okay. What, why did you let the guy put the bike in the house? Look here. Did, he did, what, did you do it out of... Did you hear what he said? Be nice to him? No. Just that he asked. And, it, and the house was empty and it was okay to do. Okay. If she's a manager, right, and she's supposed to be doing something, what is the meaning of this sentence? I was going to let him know. Yeah. What does that mean? The future. It's in the future. And therefore, as a manager, and she's worried about this. Oh, well, I should have put it in the closet. That's I right. Mean. Therefore, it's enough. Right. But I well, well, like so, the fact well, Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, th th there's a possibility that in the future it might work but that's left open, depending upon how you understand, I was going to let him know. Therefore, in the dream, what state of mind is that at that moment in the dream? Okay? Uh, well, I thought he, had, he should know, or I thought he had to know. It wasn't something that I felt like I could do. Pardon without, me, what does that mean? Without, there was something I, something I didn't think I could do. Without informing him, without letting him know, or without well, of course. saying something about it or asking him to do it. Like, I, I, he put it in there, it was his bike. No, we're interested in the state of mind, in the dream. I was going to let him know to put it in the closet. Yes. What's that like? It's futuristic. See, I was going to do, right? I was going to. Well, it was a plan. Mm hmm And I had a definite thought about it. It was definite. I, I had concluded that that's what I was going to do. It needed to be done. Therefore, it's futuristic, isn't it? It's another future dream. We'll have to see whether or not she does it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm interested in, uh, you say future, I'm not going to argue with that, but when, when she says, I was going to let him know to put in the closet out of sight, would be a better idea, better thing, and then people wouldn't be and then earlier in the dream, we've got this maybe, right? Um, I saw the bike and thought that maybe he shouldn't have the bike so visible. So I, I'm not griping with future. I'm just saying that it seems also hypothetical. Yeah, to, of, of course. I was going to, yes. I was going to, if what? Yes, yes, it's incomplete. Therefore, we have to see what happens. It's incomplete. Therefore, as a manager, how is she doing? Well, I, I just, I have a question. Please. Uh, what, what do you make of that, Regina? Uh, you were going to, it would be under what condition? What, what are you looking at? I was going to, if what happened? 
What does it depend upon? Yeah, what does it depend upon? I don't know what, what do you... Like, well, instead, instead of... Why wouldn't you act right now? Um, it wasn't my bike. And I... I that, that's how I understood it in the dream. It wasn't my bike and he needed to know. If that's yeah. true... I, what about your role as manager? Yeah, it's gone. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that, uh, yeah, in terms of break-ins, but in terms of his bike, it wasn't my bike, so. Um, so it may be that you didn't answer, you said something that wasn't an answer to his question. Could be. He's asking, what kept you from doing it? That it was his bike and he needed to know. Pardon me, that, that isn't an answer. Well, I couldn't do it because... I couldn't tell him? Well, I could tell him, well, but then he wasn't what, there. Th but then what kept you from doing it? From moving the bike myself? No, oh. of telling him. He th wasn't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. Ah. Oh, thank you. Well, you knew you were going to see him again. Somehow you knew you were going to see him again. Correct. Right. See, how important is that for the dream? <clears throat> well, we always get more information in a dream when people talk about their dreams. So if he wasn't there, then it makes sense then that this is what you were going to do. And in answering to oh, I see. Ingmar's point is, uh, the reason I couldn't do it at the time is he wasn't present. No. Right? So that still means it's still open. See, it says here, but when I went by later, I saw the bike and thought that maybe, see, he had left and this is what I thought later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's do the next one under that idea. Let's see what happens, well, okay? this is a little bit later. Okay, 27? Yeah, maybe not a good time to do that. But, uh, all I had, all I remembered was I was in a seminar and someone said that they had this tremendous experience. It was a full-blown luminous experience. I felt good for them, but sad for myself. Oh, you don't. Uh, I was in a seminar. I was in a seminar, and someone said that they had this tremendous experience. It was a full-blown, luminous experience. I felt good for them, but sad for myself. I don't see that relate. It could. You don't think that relates to the first game? Come on. But um, I do remember in the dream seeing kind of like the person having the experience. Was no, no, no. What does that mean? Like when they, it was a full-blown luminous experience. When they described it, it was like I could see that experience. I could Pardon see me. what they see, were. see or could imagine it in the dream. You're in a dream. No, they they were going through it at that time. And therefore, you what? What? Uh, well, I was watching them go through the go through it. It was right in front of me. See, you're, um, I said, uh, and someone said that they had this aluminum tremendous, like it wasn't past, it was like then. I put it in the past, but it's actually right then. Like they were having this luminous experience. Mm -hmm. But you were just watching it. The, you, the words you yes. used previously was that... They said they had one. 
Yes. No, I was watching it. I, yes, I was, it was like this, it was odd. <laughs> it was like this other person was having this luminous experience, but I saw this, like they all, they disappeared in, in some sense in the, in the light, in the luminous, in the luminosity, they were gone. But it's very strange, but I was watching it. I wasn't involved, it didn't seem like I was involved because <laughs> yeah. I was watching it. Wait a minute. Okay. Like it's your luminous. No, hold it just for a second, okay. We want to make sure that all she's doing is watching it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, it wasn't mine. It was weird. It was like someone else's. Okay, that's clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then watching it is the proper. Right. I was watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what were you watching? Uh, what were you watching? This person having a luminous experience. But you saw the light. I saw them engulfed in light, yes. Right. But I was watching. What did it look like? Hey, see. It's engulfed in light. No. What, that still leaves you with a question, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, enlightenment, an enlightenment experience is an inside job, right? People are <coughs> surrounded by light when they have an enlightenment experience. See, yeah. if you are seeing someone and they're, sh and they're showing that, you're experiencing the, the luminous light. How would you know what it was if you didn't? Yeah. Well, that's different than just watching it. it in the sense that many people have that experience and they, no one else could guess that that's what they were going through. Are you, are you watching the luminosity? Yeah, that person was engulfed in it. See, you're not. So that was all there was. I mean, they disappeared. They were, that was all there was. was My dear, if they disappeared, then you are experiencing what? Well, I'm experiencing watching the luminosity. Is he doing it? I'm not. I'm not. I'm still watching. I mean, like I seem to be separate. I'm not. I'm that's, not engulfed. Okay. All right. At, at least okay. that's what I see. Okay, that's your dream. I'm not going to change your dream. Right? I'm still watching. Right? Seems like it. It's not me. Right? You're not experiencing it. No. Well, I mean, I'm experiencing watching it. I mean, like, am I involved? Is that luminosity in me? I don't sense that. That's weird. Okay. I know it sounds weird, but it's. Hey, like, does, please, it's a dream. A dream has its own logic. Well, the reason I say that is, is because if when I've had dreams that, that involve that kind of phenomena, it's like suddenly I disappear. So but here, this is not the case. I didn't disappear. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Okay, yes, you had your hand up. While you were watching it, were you understanding what was going on because he was telling you what was going on? Or because you were just watching it and could you, you understood you, by watching it? Could you speak what, a little more slowly? Just Did you understand more what slowly. was going on because he was speaking or because you were watching it and you understood? Well, that was a good question. Um, yes, I understood what was going on. While I was watching. 
she, she were gaining more and more information about her participation in it, while at the same time she's saying, I'm separate and distant from it. Now that's okay, it's her dream, so we, we right? So, okay, what do you want to do then? Well, I would, well, my, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get into the definition of what the illumination <coughs> Pardon me. Like I felt good for them. It was a, if, if anything, the good feeling for them was my side. Like I felt a tremendous goodness for them. But that was submerged after that last line, but sad for myself. But the, yeah, but then suddenly I recognized myself as not part of it. What do you call what you what would you what would you call what you're going through? Um. Well, I, like I was felt really good, but well, kind of wishing that I had had such an experience. What would that be? You're making a com you're making a comparison. Uh, okay, I'm making a comparison. Yeah, and as a result of the comparison, you're putting yourself down. Uh, I felt good for them, yes, because I, I saw that I didn't have it and felt very sad about it. Yeah, but it is a comparison, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, it's a negative one, but yes. <laughs> yes, it's a comparison. Have you ever gone, to, have you ever been involved in such comparisons before? Yes, quite often. Oh. Yeah, that would fit. People can have all great experiences and <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I, I don't have them. <coughs> but wait a while. You see, you're also saying that you recognize the goodness of it. There are a lot of positive things you experience about the person. Yes. But that's all put down in this comparison. Well, that is odd. Yeah. That is odd because, yeah. in essence, I didn't have those feelings until the end. Yeah, when you made the comparison. When it, I get set, I, I felt good about them. Yeah. As soon as I felt good, it was like, oh, sure. well then, sure. oh, but that's not you. I you felt good. That's, that. wait a minute, I felt good, that's you. I did feel good. But then you made this comparison and... Right. and felt bad. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I, I thought, Regina, I thought you said, I felt good, that's not you. Isn't that what you originally said? No, I said I felt good for them, but I felt good. Okay. <coughs> I mean, I was the one that And then she good. made the comparison and down it goes. That's called a counterattack, isn't it? Well, let's try the next one. That is a counterattack. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the weird one. Oh, we like weird ones. There were two girls. One girl had already disappeared. Oh, good. That's what I like. Okay, go ahead. There were two girls. One girl had already disappeared. Just vanished. It was almost like air, it was just gone. There was another girl dressed in a soiree. She was like an Indian soiree. She was walking up these stairs. There was something about her being an independent thinker. And then she disappeared too. No. And it seemed like People were disappearing. <laughs> I 
But it was, it, the way they disappeared was like they just vanished, like they were, there was a body there and then suddenly they became air. It was just air. And wherever their body went, don't they, they just became air, disappeared. And then the next thing was, at first, when I heard the knock, it woke me up, but I recalled and said, wait a minute, that wasn't a knock in, in real life, it was a knock in the dream. There was a knock at the door. <coughs> what was that like? Uh, worried. More? Because... For some reason, I thought, why would somebody be knocking now? It seemed like I had a sense that, yeah, like, knocking. There was a point where I wasn't sure whether it was a knock in my dream or a knock for real. <coughs> but then I woke up and said, oh, that was in my dream. Was the worry in the dream with the knock? No. It wasn't any worry, it was just a knock. There was a knock. <coughs> like like a, uh, the sound. Rap. Like, and, they, and it was loud. It was like hitting against the wood door. Like what kind of... With what kind of? Well, it was loud, but it wasn't sh really loud. It was like they wanted they wanted to let me know whoever's at the door. They wanted to say how they were there. I think it was it. Hit, they hit it about two times. door rattled because it's not a strong door and it echoes through the house. So it's a knock. It was like the knock was right next to me when the door is way over there. But. What was it like they were letting me know they were there? Come on, given this scenario, come on. Well, there was a... It rattled the house. It wasn't a strong door. It echoed throughout the house. Knock, a matter of fact, it was two knocks. Well, I, you know, it was like something I needed to attend to. I mean, like I had to go open it up, find out what they wanted. Ah, ah. That was, that was the significance of the knock. Hmm. Uh, so I had to open it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're putting a bit of attention to that, aren't you? In the dream? Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, you took uh, everything away. Yeah. I mean, it was where my focus was. Yeah, now this is your, right, this is now your focus. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? How is it functioning in the dream? Well, it's taking me away from the questions of where the girl's going. Yeah, yeah. You wiped it out. Yeah, because I did have a question. Where yeah, going. Uh, similar to the other dream. <coughs> right? Felt yeah. bad, it wiped out all the beauty that you experienced. Right, the urgency. So, there was an urgency to the knock. Yeah. I had to open it up. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So you gave up this mystery for this. Yep. What do you think of that?
Well, that one I didn't think I could solve. But at the same time, you gotta try it. <laughs> I did, you know, I was watching it. I had questions about it, but I, you know, it was interrupted with the knock. So you, uh, again, it looks like an episode, oh, you finish it. Does that seem similar to the other dream? <coughs> the way it's functioning? Yeah. Huh. I see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, this seems more immediate. Right, you had to open it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They give up this. Mm -hmm. oh, more ethereal. That was very more ethereal. Wasn't bad. They just disappeared, but you'd want, you wondered where they went. What do you make of the dress that they were in? That Sorry. one girl? Ah, uh, the swarry? Yeah. It was, um, I recognized it was a swarry, and it was, it was, um, it was unusual. I mean, like, uh, well, maybe not so unusual, but, um, when she was walking up the steps, it was like she... Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, like it, it fit her, not in the way that a lot of people, Indian women, wear them, but it was like very flowing. Like it, it fit her, but it was flowing. It was very... Ethereal, almost like the uh, airy, and really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, like it had a gold. Um, yeah, golden. Gold stuff, but there was also like jewels, like some jewels at, at certain points in them, as she was, or jewel-like. Yeah. As she was walking up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. You're adding some very nice pictures to it. That's true. Yeah. That's true. What does that mean for you in terms of what's going on? Uh, well, it looks like I'm knocking, I've knocked out the light, <laughs> and I'm knocking this, knocking at the door here, and knocking that out with a knock. Mm, don't know where that goes. That was pretty recent. Well, same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, uh, could you uh, just do me one favor? Sure. Uh, could you go back over that? Uh, one girl had already disappeared. Talk about that. Come on, in the dream. Um, that means, uh, uh, the first girl. The first girl was, there was no image of her at all. It was just that she had gone, she had disappeared. And uh, like I was trying to grasp, trying to think about what kind of a person she was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some good questions, right? But she was not graspable, if you want to put yeah, it that way. Yeah, there was yeah. something that it was like she was a girl, but you couldn't, she wasn't anything that you could describe like the second girl. Yeah. Well, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, the second girl had a form. She was walking up the steps. So the first girl now. Well, was she an ugly broad? The first one or second? Second. No, no. You mean not only was she dressed beautifully, but she was beautiful? Oh, yeah. How beautiful? Modest in between? No, very statuesque. Oh, 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 um, oh. I mean, she wore a swarry, how, but she uh, was very she, uh, How'd she walk? I know, clumsy, clip. No, no, very defined. Like oh. She was walking up the steps. As if she was what? Um, Regal? 
Where? How would you put it? Yeah, I, I put an independent thinker, like she had yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my take is that it would be like how I would, <laughs> how I would observe like somebody like Athena walking. Oh, you know, Athena oh, going up yeah, the steps. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that a neighborhood girl? No. Who? <laughs> huh? Well, it's my image of Athena. Oh, <laughs> is that one of those goddesses? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It would be somebody like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I've got a, I've got a purpose. I've got a goal. I yeah, know what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Goal, purpose. Good thinker, deep, independent thinker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still very petite and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she doesn't. I mean, Athena is kind of a. a, a, a well, it, it makes sense why you'd want to dump her and get, deal with the rock, the <laughs> knocking on the door. Yeah, I guess I didn't get into it as much as I should. <laughs> Interesting. <coughs> uh, are you adding great value to this? Yeah. 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 I did dismiss it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Mm. Didn't think much of it, actually. I thought the knock was more important. Now what do you think? Well, um, I think the first girl is very curious. Mm -hmm. The way I just described her, which it's... was um, how to grasp her. There was no yeah. way you mm -hmm. could. She had no... Features. Yeah. Nothing. But the second looked pretty interesting. And the second one <coughs> pretty good. Yeah, it's not too often people have a dream of an Athena-like woman. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it, <laughs> that's curious. Very curious. Good. Cool. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good. 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 Same message, getting bigger. Yes. Huh? Yeah, that first girl. You know, I was thinking it could be the first and second hypothesis, or second and third. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not graspable. There's no content to her. Well. Except she does have a name. She's a girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs>